Hey, welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk about a lens comparison. So I uh, prepared some lenses. It's not always the camera that's determining your image. A lot of the times it's actually your lens. So I would highly recommend testing lenses for you to be able to know which lens is gonna do what and what lens is gonna give you what look. So I rented two 50 millimeter lenses and then I had my own 250 and then I did a lens comparison between the four lenses. Uh, I had a Snyder, Sh Schneider, I don't know how to say it exactly. I should look it up. Schneider, Cine Zenar the third. Cine Zenar the third. I think it's down deep in your throat. So, and then I rented, the other lens I rented was the Canon CNE Cine lens. And it's the, the big honker one. And then I had my lovely little Olympus which is a lens from like the 1970s, little converter ring on it to convert that. And then I had the Zeiss ZF lenses that I had also converted through Ducos lenses to declick the aperture and also have a Canon mount attached. The big difference between the lenses is the Schneider lens is like pretty heavy. I, I wanna say it's like six pounds. And then the Canon lens is not as heavy as you'd think. It's it's huge. It's like this giant round lens, but it's actually not that heavy. It's just a little cumbersome to like put on the camera just because it's so wide. And then I had this lens, which is like a pound, and this lens, which weighs like, I don't know, nothing. Anyway, so I just, I did some tests to see the difference. And uh, so first off, what we have is just kind of a skin tone test slash like lighting, just basic setup type test. And you have the Snyder. I shot at uh, T5.6 and all the lenses were the same. I, that was the exposure. Then you have the Zeiss. And the Zeiss, I apologize, is a little bit out of focus. It's a little soft, so it's hard to compare the sharpness between the lenses, and that's unfortunate. And then there's the Canon. And then the Olympus. So the, the four lenses there. And then what I did was I wanted to compare them all side by side and see what they look like. And I did just a really quick color correction on this, like contrast, saturation, that was it. And I was actually very surprised. One that was my favorite was the top left, this one right here. The reason why is I just, I loved the way it dealt with the skin tones. The other three felt like it had a little bit magenta to them. So the Canon one was the one that I felt rendered the best skin tones. And I was actually rather surprised how different skin tones looked with different lenses. This felt a little more drastic than I had remembered, especially with a camera that has a little bit of a magenta skew to it, like the Blackmagic. This was all shot in the Blackmagic 4.6K by the way. And then the Olympus actually, it adds a little bit of a, like a blooming effect to a lot of the highlights. It's like a built-in filter on the thing. Just because it's old, the skin tones are a lot smoother, softer, it's not as sharp. Okay, so then what I did was I wanted to do how much they breathe. And when I say breathing, you'll see in these examples, how much when you pull focus, does the image actually zoom a little bit in and out? Super frustrating and super stupid. I don't know, you just, you don't want your lens to be like zooming in and out while you're pulling focus. It, it's distracting. So let's get into it. So the first one I had wide open on all the lenses. So this Canon's CNE was open to a 1.2 or a T13. And then the uh, Schneider was open to a two. The Zeiss was open to a two. And then the Olympus was open to a one eight. So I just did them all. And you can see here, the Canon, you don't see much of uh, movement in it. It's just, it looks pretty good. And the Schneider, same thing, looked about equal. And then the Zeiss, you see it massively. Like look at the edge of the table, especially on the side over here. You'll see as it zooms down, you can see it sucked in. And, and if you watch it fast, let's watch it fast. You'll just see like that table suddenly, you can see the edge of the table when you couldn't before. Now the Olympus, the problem with pulling focus with this lens is it wiggles. So 
in the adapter, it's not like perfectly tight, so it wiggles. So it does have kind of a wiggle jello look to it, and that's just because it's not tight. Okay, so then what I did was I stopped it down quite a bit because being wide open all the way, it's kind of hard to see the breathing. So I stopped it down to like an eight on all the lenses. So every lens is now down to an F8 or T8. You can see some breathing. If you look on the side, you can see the table, the, the black gap between the table does extend quite a bit. So there's, and, and that's to be expected. It's a photo lens, really old. So I wouldn't expect it to be like amazing. Now the Zeiss, the 50 millimeter Zeiss, also is technically a still camera's lens, has huge amounts of breathing. If you watch it, look at the side of the table here. Like it is really drastic. And that's one of the things I can't stand about this lens. Okay, and then if you look at the Schneider, this one I was super impressed. Like I don't think it breathes at all. Like I could not see really any difference pulling focus on this. It's a solid lens. There's there is no breathing in that lens. And then the Canon lens, uh, there's, there's a tiny bit, super subtle, really slight, but you can see it just, just barely, which honestly isn't that big a deal. Okay, and then the last test I did, I only did three tests, technically. Boca! So I started with the Schneider. Now you'll see in the middle of the screen here, there's like this weird, design. That was a fleck of dust on the back of the lens that I didn't realize while I was shooting. I found it later and then blew it off, but I forgot to go back and reshoot this. So in Boca, what I like to look for is how smooth is it? Like, can you see any edges as you're looking at it? So what I did was I actually stopped it down on the camera. So I had it wide open on the aperture and then I stopped it down to, I think it was around a an 11 or a 16, somewhere around there on each lens, just to see how the lens, how the bokeh was affected on how much you close down your aperture. And on each lens, I had it on its closest focal point, except for the 50. Now the 50 uh, Zeiss is a macro lens, so it's like super, super macro. It's really uh, pretty cool except that it breathes like crazy. So when you're in macro, it breathes even worse. I didn't show that, I should have. Um, okay, so then we have the bokeh between the Canon and the Schneider, both cine lenses. Uh, now the big thing with the bokeh with the Canon was because you can go to a T13, I mean, obviously the bokeh is gonna be way bigger and much more like blown out and bokeh -y. So there was, of course, that's, that's the fact, but when you actually stop it down to see, you know, how the bokeh looks when they're equal to each other, if you look at the Canon, it actually has a little bit sharper edges in the bokeh. And so the, the bokeh isn't quite as nice as the Schneider lens. To me, the bokeh on both looked gorgeous. And then the Zeiss, uh, bokeh still looked good, but you could definitely see a difference between the Canon and the Zeiss bokeh. The Canon's bokeh was much smoother, and the Schneider were much smoother bokehs. Even at it totally wide, you can see some, some jagged edges as you're looking at these lights. And they're just Christmas lights in my basement. I just threw them up to do a bokeh test. And then the Olympus is, the Olympus falls apart pretty fast. It's, it's bokeh is pretty like, you look like, looks like little stop signs. It just, once you stop down, it's just like, ugh. So yeah, that was my basic test with these four lenses. It's nothing like spectacular. I wasn't expecting this to be like, mind blown. I was hoping to see a much bigger difference between the Schneider versus the Canon Cine lens. Like one is eight grand and the other one is like four grand, like 450. I, I wouldn't go with the, the Schneider over it because the price difference just isn't, it's not worth it. Uh, I, I wouldn't pay twice the amount. Not to say any of these lenses are terrible. Uh, this Olympus, <laughs> if you ever want to take off a lens cap quick, finger tap. But the Olympus, it's interesting because I, I like the Olympus because it gives us like, this thing blooms like crazy. And that was the one test that I really regret not getting with these lenses. I did shoot some sunset 
with the Canon lens because I had a film shoot on um, the roof of a building. We were crunched for time, the sun was setting, so I only used the Canon lens just to get stuff done quickly. I mean, the Canon cine lens blooms and flares awesome. I love the flares in it. Um, that's the one complaint I have with these Zeiss lenses. They're the flares of this lens are kind of ugly. They're not super cinematic. They don't flare super easy, which is great. So if you're shooting like stuff that you don't want your lens to flare, but it does kind of have a purple tint to the flare, which bugs me uh, with these lenses. With the Canon lens, nah, it's, there's no purple tint at all. Uh, same with the Schneider, no purple tint. It was just, a, it was a beautiful, Flare, I didn't get to flare as much with that one because when I did shoot with that one, it, be, it had become cloudy. And so it wasn't quite as good. This lens just blooms and flares like crazy. Like you point any sort of light at this thing, it's just like uh, So yeah, this one's, uh, this one flares a lot. It's fun though, it's fun. It's, it's an old, old school lens and it's really fun to throw on and just kind of see what you get. It's the only issue, the biggest issue I have with the Canon lenses was the throw on it was just so big that it was hard to get some like quick rack focuses for stuff. But that being said, the throw on this one is so small that it becomes difficult to get your focus accurate. And that was the one thing I loved about the Canon lens was it was very easy to get accurate focus points. Now, as far as usability of these lenses, the Schneider lens was bulky. It, it, was, uh, it was annoying. It was hard to get my follow focus on the thing because, it, because the, the front was so wide compared to the bottom where the actual focus ring was. So my follow focus would stick out a little bit and sometimes hit that. It was super heavy and I didn't think the optics were that much better to really justify the cost of the thing. The Canon one, Still, still pretty bulky, but getting the follow focus on it was super easy. Uh, pulling focus, like accurate focus was awesome. The hardest part was the, the, the huge throw the sucker had. It was hard to pull focus when you're like pulling long distances. This one is just, it just breathes too much. That's the biggest issue, it's just. So yeah, if I were to choose between any of these lenses, I would honestly, the, the best, lens would be the Canon Cine lens. Uh, it's fantastic lens, great flares, uh, great for pulling focus, especially if you have another person pulling focus. It's not too heavy, it's actually pretty light. Now the cons are it's bulky, the focus pulling is difficult if you're going over long distances. It's great because you can get it accurate, but it's hard because if you're pulling yourself, you're doing this. You gotta twist your hand like crazy. I hope this was helpful. Let me know in the comments below if you even liked this video. If you, if you didn't like it, please let me know. Like what, what types of videos do you guys wanna see from me? Uh, or do you even care? Do, you, do any of you even care? I mean, I, could, I would happily just do like tech tech videos for you guys, you know? I'm pretty dope with it. See that? It was dope. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe.